What's going on, Cool Bean Cats and Kittens? It's your boy CD. Welcome to CD's Gaming. We are back to play Spider Man Remastered. We got one more section to do. I'm too close to the TV. <laughs> bright. <laughs> Way too bright. Wait for this laptop to get it going. I don't think everybody's going to be chatting with me all like that yet. Here we go. When I get a PC, this is all going to change. Yeah, 64% of the game. So that's not bad. Try to finish it this next two days or so by Monday. That's the goal, anyway. And then, uh, or, you know, we might take next week a little bit. I think Miles Morales would be a little easier to beat. Maybe. We'll see. There we go. All right. So I made this closer to this. We have these two here, and this third one, and then we have all of this to get. And again, the side stories I am not doing. That's not where I need to go. Why is it? There we go. Ooh. This is the Bowery, but where's Dr. Michaels? Is that the devil's breath? It's called GR-27, not... <sighs> Just be careful. In the wrong hands, this could... Don't worry. We're the best in the world. In the world. <sighs> I feel better already. Oh, yeah, that, that is that guy from, um... <sighs> forget that show. I this way, Dr. Michaels. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Doctor. Get off me! We got this! Yeah, sure you do. got Dr. Michaels and the Devil's Breath. Copy that. More units coming your way. He took Michaels alive, so that's good. Probably so we can force him to make more Devil's Breath. I have to stop that truck. Tank. Whatever. Whoa, whoa, there's a biological weapon 
in there. All units, open fire. Whoa, why is everyone shooting rockets all of a sudden? Spider-Man, get in clear. You are interfering in this operation. Sorry, but I'm not on board with Operation Missiles in Manhattan. I need to clear the guys in the trucks before I go after Lee. and he will destroy all sinners! Sorry! I love that. Lee, hand it over! Cancer on this city. He must be excised with no trace of his corruption to return. Norman hides behind his mask of lies. I will break it apart and drag him into the light. Put on the mask. Become one of us. Thanks, but no thanks! <clears throat> one way or the other, you will join me. Real. One, one life. Simple trade. One life. 
life for a city of souls. remember what I'm supposed to do. so much, man. Yeah, how did they all get out? So squeaky clean. Are you okay? Did they take it? Yes. <laughs> how worried should I be? Very apocalyptic. You're a popular guy. Where is the serum? I'm gone. The Discoya. So called superhero. You think you would save people, but you just make it worse. This is your fault. My fault. He was under your protection. You really need two of those? Stop! We need to brief Mr. Osborne now. I'll go with her. Thank you. I'll remember this. Yeah, she a little bitch. <laughs> I could fan her ass, man. Yuri, tell me you've got a lead on Martin Lee's location. We have footage from a guy at a coffee shop. Looks like he hopped into a black sedan after the crash. Black sedan, great. Let me finish. We have a partial plate. And one of my patrol guys just found a matching plate. Black sedan in a parking lot near Canal and Hudson. You're a good cop, Yuri. I'm on my way. Hmm. Spider-Man. Hello? Is this working? Dr. Michaels? How are you calling? Borrowed on one of Sable's radios. Listen, transit hubs are the most likely release points for Devil's Breath. Airports, 
bus terminals, train stations. It'll spread like wildfire from there. Why the hell is Oscorp developing a bioweapon in the city? Shouldn't this be in an Arctic bunker? Devil's Breath is personal for Norman. It's been his obsession for decades. The project breaks every state and federal regulation on the books, but he doesn't care. If the city finds out, he can kiss re-election goodbye. Never mind re-election. He'd be tried in The Hague for war crimes. Why are you telling me all this? Aren't you just as culpable as Norman? Yes. Completely. But Lee's actions have been a wake-up call. We've ignored the project's risk for too long. I trust you, Spider-Man. You're the only one trying to do the right thing. Please, protect the city from our mistakes. Mm. So ominous. I'm in an ominous season. Okay. Well, that's up here. Uh, we're going to go up here. <laughs> but first, some new stuff. I haven't upgraded my gadgets. I've upgraded a few. I always want to upgrade this one. Trying to upgrade them as much as I possibly can. I can't see what I got over there because my camera is blocking it. <laughs> oh, this one's upgraded all the way. I don't have enough base tokens. Crime tokens, challenge tokens. Okay. And we have one available. And these cost two. Two, two. And we need this one to catch up with those two. That costs three. Jesus. And that one's one. We'll wait till we get one more point and then we can do this. Uh, we'll probably do this one. Okay. speed chase between police, Spider-Man, and the demons. Once again, Spider-Man makes a bad situation infinitely worse. And we have a highly intelligent caller who agrees with me. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yes, Mr. Jameson. I was trying to get to work, and I was almost run over. I understand that Spider-Man saved the kidnapped victim, and I'm glad about that. But I could have been killed. Not just you. This is the problem with that masked man. The police are able to coordinate efforts, block streets, lay down tire shredding strips, because they're a team. Spider-Man is a one-man show who cares about one thing. Spider-Man! And you almost paid for that. With your life. Oh yeah.
There we go. Alright. Got that one. Ah, I need clown tokens anyway. Not again! Not on my watch! Come on, god damn it. Motherfucker with the shield, get on my nerves. Shut up. Time for the bomb. Bomb? What bomb? There's a bomb here? Oh. Bad time to get sweaty palms. There we go. Jesus. Woo! <laughs> Got it, officer. Always ready to do my part. Alright, now we got to do a picture of this bridge. Love it. The raft. At the raft. When a regular too. maximum security prison just isn't enough. Alright, so I got all that. We are going to go up and clean up this section, baby. I've been meaning to ask, how does Sable's team feel about our special relationship? <laughs> oh, they love it. That bad, huh? Let's just say if they ever found out how much info I feed you, a cell in Rikers would be the least of my problems. I don't want to put you at risk. If it's easier to cut off communication... Hell with that. The city needs...
needs us working together now more than ever. Screw Sable. It's business as usual. That's why you're the best, Yuri. Nothing shakes you. Damn right. Now, I lived in New York for some time. I don't remember a park like this. damage son of a bitch oh shut up it's over y'all screaming missions I just don't see the point storm in the castle I mean they give you a lot of XP don't get me wrong some of them are okay but we're going to stay away from those right now ah Stand clear of the closing doors. Nap time. Sleep it off. Okay, let's see what's happening inside. Geronimo! Geronimo! <laughs> MJ, I'm at the fourth place on your list. They're not even trying to pretend they're legit. It's just sad when criminals don't take pride in their work anymore. I'll see what I can find out. <laughs> You literally didn't see that coming. Nobody heard that though, right? Like Nobody heard it. Corporal 
能是老鼠。嘿，醒醒！糟糕了。God damn, so many of them I can't. God damn. They all gotta come over here? God damn. Turn around so fast. Ready now. Well, no bad idea. No more stealthy, stealthy.
do I think the new guys have to tag the old guy? And they have to go to their corner, no? Bullshit. 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 Bullshit, man. Bullshit. Come on. Bullshit! Come on, man! Some goddamn bullshit! Bullshit, man. I'm about to fucking die, man. God damn. Demons get all their vehicles. Trucks, ambulances. Exactly. You shut this down, they'll have a tougher time moving around the city unnoticed. I would hate to see the group text that got you all here. God damn. Oh, fucking shit, man. This motherfucking, this goddamn whip shit. Getting on my nerves. Nah, not today, player. Thank you, you little fucking bitch. Hold on! Before we start, let me check the maximum occupancy for this place. Two.
Thank you. Just one. Thank you. Jesus. Whew. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> so close to dying. MJ, I may have just done the opposite of repair at this repair shop. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll get the cops down there. They'll clean things up. <clears throat> All right. Whew. Got some base tokens. Or a base token. Don't feel super awesome about this one. Cloaking tech intended for military application and using armed drones to test it. This is my one concession today, and hopefully, this is something to do life about funding the applications. Okay, so be at nighttime. This station may be safe because it's helping test an Oscorp military application. Cloaking tech. But I don't love using armed drones to test in. Someone might get hurt. Not if I'm the one who tests it. Let's see if I can integrate the cloaking tech with my suit. Success! Uh, energy field interferes with my web gadgets. Not exactly a keeper. Uh-oh. Those armed drones are malfunctioning. They're dangerous. And the self-destruct signal's not working from here. But cloaked, I can get close enough to trigger the destruct mechanism. That drone didn't go far. I'll download its data before I wreck it, so they can ID the problem. Okay, I need to get within 10 meters of the drone to stop it, and I'll need to be cloaked. Nailed it! Now I've got to go visible again so I can swing to the others. Ah, yep, that got me. Come on, man. What kind of bullshit is this? How the fuck am I dying like that? Pardon me. drone but your data lives on better you than me I'm gonna get that one
How am I going to get that one? See it coming, did you? Nope, that didn't work. So many of them here. Always breaking stuff. Another one bites the dust. God damn, I pressed the wrong fucking button. One drone. Are these armed drones even legal? I switched to invisibility. Nailed it. Now I've got to go visible again so I can swing to the others. Son of a bitch. Drone, but your data lives on. Better you than me. See it coming, did you? I'm always breaking stuff. You ain't got shit. I didn't even know I was here. Come on. Another one bites the dust. Scratch one drop. Finally got that bitch. Armed drones even legal? Uh. 
Stealth Spidey strikes again. Where is it? Oh. Stealth mode was fun, but it's not worth losing my webs over. Hopefully oh. Oscorp will figure out armed drones in Manhattan are not a good idea. But I'm not holding my breath. Now they've got the data they need. And the stealth tech is promising, even if it needs work. I think Harry's station is safe. And if they ever work the bugs out, maybe I'll whip myself up a stealth suit. Oh, right. So that night now is daytime. Yep. At least they kept me somewhere in the vicinity. Alright, we're gonna do this Fisk hideout. And then I'm gonna call it. My head is robbing. <laughs> Trying to smile and laugh through it, but hey, my head is killing me. I'm not hungry. I'm, I'm not tired. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna drink some salt water. Fun fact: salt water will help eliminate headaches. It's nasty, but natural. Our our bodies need salt, right? are on a suicide run. There's a bomb in the front car. Guys, guys, guys. We all love a parade, but you gotta get permits first. Here's your stuff. There's a bomb in the truck. Gotta disable it. Oh, good. The demon sent back up. I was starting to worry I might win this. How'd he come down from get up from the subway? These demons yeah. must have crazy insurance premiums. And we're in Harlem, by the way. This is FYI, in case anybody was like, "Where are you at?" Up in Harlem, baby, baby. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Yuri, I'm looking at a Fisk site where there's a lot of people, but not much work getting done. That you can see. They're keeping it under wraps. I'll turn over some rocks. I'm snoring now. Open. Spider Man's here. 
man up. Someone needs a nap. You're gonna have a bad Whoa. day. I know, aren't I? Are you? Ah, oh, backup's here. Why don't I have backup? All right, nobody likes me. Ouch! This will shut your mouth. Is it? You gonna shut my mouth? My sources say they're running exotic weapons out of that location. Explosives, rocket launchers. This does manage to get stuff you don't see outside the military. That needs to stay off the streets by any means necessary. So many of them. Come on. I'll teach you some respect. You got him. Are you? Get my bonus part. Now we can get the business. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. like a spider More of them. it's kind of touching how badly you guys want to join your boss in jail Get them all, baby. Ah, uh, you get your ass with right now. Look at them watching from above over there. 
I'm whooping that ass, baby. So am I. Yeah, I'm tired of you too. Woo! All the king's men, baby. <laughs> Got Big Willie's guys and his weapons all wrapped up like Christmas morning. Christmas well, morning, baby. Suit, so you're Sweet Christmas. Santa Claus for me. As Thanks. Luke Cage would say. <laughs> Sweet Christmas. How many more fist construction sites are there? None. He had every one of them working overtime to bring in money. Well, now he's going to have a tough time keeping his operation running, which is bad for Fisk and good for New York. Oh, yeah. I trust you've enjoyed yourself. Willie, funny story. I was just at one of your buildings. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. And you'll be shocked to hear that there were shenanigans of the criminal variety. TLDR, Fisk construction is closed. I have other sources of revenue, but you've inconvenienced me, and there will be consequences. My memory's long. My reach what is we longer. just friends? I should make all the guys who've sworn to kill I kept your men safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, that was the last one of them. All right. Well, let's see Ooh, what we got. Let's see what we got first. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the Iron Spider suit! <laughs> We're getting this one. We're gonna, use We're gonna wear this one going forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, baby. Mm hmm. Definitely doing that. Alright, so now we got two points. We're going to get this one. So now they're all up in 70s. And when we have two per each side. Cool. Catch credit on. Oh, that is a uh, black cat. We will. We may do those suicide missions. Cause, nah, we'll see. One is a part of the DLC, so now we'll probably do that. With the cat's cradle. So, but for now, could be catch the kittens. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go rest before I gotta get up and do tomorrow all over again. As far as work is concerned. Oh, FYI, my God. <laughs> real quick, it's so funny. I ain't know anybody really watching, but uh, uh, we had got a check from we got a check from some client, and it was a Canadian bank. So here in the United States, uh, some checks can be cashed and some checks cannot, depending on how the check is created from that bank. I don't know a lot about foreign checks um, when it comes to processing them here in the United States. So, and I'm also covering a role. It's so weird. I work in accounting, but I cover a role that I don't cover where it deals with checks, so I honestly don't have this knowledge. Um, most people in accounting don't have the knowledge unless they've worked in a bank and understood how checks work like the ins and out because it's not just a piece of paper there are a lot of there's a lot of information on check and when you're scanning it and how to scan or scan the check and what information it reads and stuff like that it's a lot i know anywho try to do it at the, at the job to deposit nope found out it was a canadian bank took it to the bank bank can't deposit because it doesn't have the right um nicker number which is the bottom portion of the check that tells you your account number or the check number and writing them and stuff like that. There's supposed to be a special code on there for this type of check. And even if they had the code, they would have to put in the collections and go through the process of doing all the stuff they need to do. And I'm just like, okay, way above my head because again, I'm filling in for someone who's been out. So I hit the, let the lady know who handles that particular account on our team was like, hey, they can't deposit the check. I will bring it back, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know the process from there because again, it's, I don't know what to do. It's over three hundred fifty thousand dollars, right? So yeah, you would think that somebody with a devious mind would try to figure out how to cash it. Good thing I'm not that insane because I stand to check with the company's information, so no one could cash the check anyway. So that's my safe, my safe, uh, safety net when I handle checks with the company's physical checks. 
I make sure to stamp them because that means no one can take the check. Even if you did, you couldn't do anything with it. We would just have to call someone to tell them to cancel the check for the check. And then they would, and then no one could do anything with it. And if somebody tried to take it to the bank with a stamp on it, they went and cashed it anyway because it's going to a different account, not the account the person is going to try to get it to. And if you try to mess with the stamp on the back of the check and try to change the information, then that's an entirely different problem. I've done that once where I stamped it, and then I had to call the bank to figure out, okay, we already stamped it. How do we fix this so that we can put it in the right account, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, with their knowledge and information and sending over documentation, I was able to do it legally, right? Uh, because again, it ain't my money and I don't want anything to do with it. I'm not going to F up my bread because it's somebody else's bread and all that good stuff. Anyway, I'm going on rabbit hole. But anyway, I want to say that was very surprising, very interesting that, you know, I got mad money in my car, but <laughs> I can't do shit with it anyway. It's so funny that I was like, but I left early to do it. And then I'm standing there waiting, and she's going through all this process, and I was like, ugh, I could have just did this the next day and went through the same process and still got home and all that stuff the same amount of time that I would have if I had just worked the regular day and not left 45 minutes early to try to get this into the bank and all that stuff. Uh, then, oh, fun note, then there was some like other shit that happened that we didn't balance correctly and I couldn't figure it out. And I said, F it, I'm going to balance so I can move on and send out this stuff and then I'll come back and try to look at it. Good thing about it is, I I'll, I'll, I will figure it out. I just didn't have the time to figure it out because we do this up at the end of the day. All day long, I'm balanced until the very end of the day. I said, I don't have time to sit here and try to figure this out. Again, not my role. And I don't know the ins and outs of trying to figure out how to do all that stuff. I haven't been trained, but yet I'm covering something for someone and all this stuff. Anyway, I'm not going to be doing it going forward, and it's going to be a big deal. So I might be out of a job soon just because I'm going to start saying no a lot. I, I just can't be doing that. I'm doing my role full time and their role full time, and it's just been a lot this week, all week. So after tomorrow, if they come to me tomorrow talking about, oh, we, nope, I, I can't do it. You got to find another way. And that's all I'm going to say. It doesn't matter what you say after that. I can't do it. You have to find another way. And we'll see how that plays out. Because on one hand, I know they can't let me go per se. Because I have so much knowledge. I, they'll try to get it from me before I leave, which that's not going to happen. So they know they got to play that very del delicately. They've probably already been in talks to try to figure out how we're going to let this guy go. We'll just do it. I don't have time for that. And there's the middle part where I'm like, mm, regardless of how it goes, I'm going to remove everything I've ever done anyway and keep it moving. And then there's the other side where they'll keep me and just keep playing on the same OBS and it's just not going to work in the favor until... One day I give or whatever the case may be, I have no idea. Or they just start giving me bonuses and, and raises. But let me tell you, I never expect a job to give me a raise. I've been through jobs like that. I've never gotten a raise, never got a bonus, nothing like that. Um, I worked at one company where we all got bonuses every year. And in one year, the regular admin people didn't get bonuses, but everyone else did. And I was just like, wow, that's interesting. We're the ones doing all the work, but yet there are all the ones getting the bonus. It's very weird. So I stopped putting in a lot of effort, and it started to show a lot. That company went bankrupt anyway, so that's not the point. And it was because of me. I'm proud of that. Anyway, anyway I'm rambling about nothing. I got to go. Cool being Cats and Kittens. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate y'all. And that is my time. Until next time, because we're going to beat this game over the weekend. I know we will. We're going to fix that main story after we finish up all this other stuff. Uh, I think we should be good to go. So, all right. Until next time, peace.